I just wanted to come up today and say a personal thank you to him. Thank you for all the great things that you've done that are for humanity. It never gets old for him as far as people telling him their stories or how grateful they, they are. They came to say thank you. They came to shake his hand and show their appreciation for his contributions to the Big Island's health community. Earl Bakken celebrated his special day surrounded by friends and supporters. Never knew I had a connection to him until just a few years ago, until I read a newspaper article that he had invented the pacemaker. He was born January 10, 1924. Through his early childhood years, he showed an interest in electronics. A popular movie inspired him to use science and electricity for the benefit of humankind. He soon began collecting all the gadgets and gizmos a young teenager would want. He was a typical boy. He made the first taser before a taser was even invented because he was a nerd. He admits he was a nerd and they said it kept the bullies away. In 1949, he and a friend formed a company to service medical electronic equipment. This was a time when pacemakers were big, bulky, and ran on electricity. A few years later, doctors asked Earl to design a portable device. A month later, Medtronic delivered the first battery-powered cardiac pacemaker. I think he was, had a, a, a purpose. He knew what he wanted to be from the time he was a young boy, so I say he's had a mission-driven life. Dr. Scully conducted the first pacemaker procedure in Hawaii in 1965. It was a pretty good sized pacemaker, about the size of a hockey puck. We put it beneath the skin. You put the leads down through the subclavian vein and that into the heart and put the pacemaker in, this, in a subcutaneous pocket. Today, Medtronic is a company of 46,000 professionals with offices throughout the world. Every three seconds, someone in the world is receiving a healing device developed by Medtronic. And Earl himself knows that he wouldn't be here if he didn't have his devices. He's on his second pacemaker. He has an insulin pump. And they've given him, a, you know, at least 10 years of extra life, as he calls it. And his latest thing in the last few years has been um, when people get extra life, like he's been given, um, they should do something with that. And in other words, when they live on, they should also then go and give on and do something for the community with the years that they've been given additionally to their life. They shouldn't go home and sit in a rocking chair and watch TV. They should join an organization and help humanity. Earl also believes in complementary health care. When you're taking care of patients, it should be 20% scientific and 80% spirituality. I would like to see this hospital service the area of Northwest Hawaii, but I would like to see it also become one of the most healing hospitals in the world. Earl has been a Big Island resident for many years. In that time, he has helped develop many health, science, and environmental programs. He does all this and seeks no rewards. Earl's a humble man. He's a kind person. He's extremely intelligent. He's a genius. He, he cares very deeply for everyone. I don't think we'd be sitting here today if it wasn't for Earl's help. I hope I will live uh, for many years in the 90s and be able to help the hospital go forward into the future. Earl Bakken continues to strive for better. Through his leadership, millions of people with life-threatening illnesses are now enjoying full life and health. A pioneer, a visionary, an inventor, but most of all, a friend of the community.